Mis amigos de Fandango Cine, Tom Welling nos visita acá en el estudio para tomar un cafecito. How are you, Tom? Very well. Cheers. Cheers. So, are we going to drink this as a shot or just... That's what you said. Sip, sip, whatever you yeah. want. I win. You win. Yeah. <laughs> I just, I wasn't expecting it to be a little bit hot. It's not that hot, but that's It's fine. It's not that hot. What do you like about Miami? Um, the energy. Yeah. The energy of Miami is so great. Like, the minute you get off the plane, it's just, you can feel it in the air. It's fantastic. In the film, you play this quarterback and he, um... He sees his career in jeopardy because yeah. of a drop day. Yeah. What were the main things you wanted to portray in this character? Well, I wanted to sh I, I wanted to show that um, I wanted to ground the character in a way that made him uh, obviously relatable to the audience. But this is a guy who has a real world problem, mm -hmm. uh, meaning that like he he has a job that he's threatened and he has to go home and tell his wife that he might be out of a job. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's a real that's a real issue, and I, I wanted that to sort of transcend the idea of a quarterback going home to tell his Wife, he's like this is this is a guy who's got a real issue, you know, a family issue, mm -hmm. um, and hopefully that comes across in the film. And can you relate to that aspect in, in the sense of you being an actor or being in the industry, and you don't know what's going to happen next? Yeah, it's sort of like a gypsy lifestyle where you know, a lot of, like I mean, even I was on a television show, Smallville, for 10 years, and after every year the show is canceled mm -hmm. and then it's renewed, so you're out of a job every year and you don't know if you're coming back. I want to go back to the beginning when when all of this started. Was there like a specific moment where you said? I want to be an actor. Um, there was. I was living in New York and I had done a commercial and I remember thinking like this is a lot of fun. You get to sort of be foolish. At the time I was thinking this, you could be foolish in front of camera and people like it and you know they hire you more. <laughs> um, and then through the you know over the time that I spent um, on Smallville um, I started I think to grow more of appreciation for, for the art and the, and the preparation and And the directing, the producing as well. So yeah, you, you directed a couple of episodes. Is that yeah, it? yeah? Wow. So how was that experience? I loved it. Really? I really loved it. Yeah, I look forward to doing more of it. Now, is it true that uh, after you graduated uh, from high school, you wanted to work in uh, was it like a farm or have a farm life? No, I, I did. I did do. I, I did get a job in construction. A construction. Yeah, that's it. but that wasn't because I wanted to. <laughs> oh, okay, because I was reading and it, he wanted to be a construction worker, and I'm like. Okay, yeah, I didn't want fine. to be. I just, I, like I was. a life choice. I want yeah. to be a construction worker. That's what, no, I mean, and no offense, it, it could happen. It's great. I mean, it was, it was a great job that I had for, for many months, um, and I enjoyed it. But it also taught me that you know it's not something I wanted to make a career out of. And when I was really young, like elementary school, middle school, I did like musicals and, and acting on and plays. So you and can stuff. sing. Well, not now, if you can hear my voice, but <laughs> now, I did when I was younger, yeah. I, I do want to talk about you being a soccer player when you were little. Yeah. So, especially because in Latin America, soccer is is very, very important. Football, yeah. Football, right. Yeah. Uh, and with the World Cup starting in a couple of months, do you have a favorite or... Yeah, the U.S. The U.S. The U.S. <laughs> I have no, to I mean, for the U.S. I know, I know. I, they're not a favorite to win. I know, but that's why I'm asking. I definitely have, I'm rooting for them, number okay, one. Okay, so if the U.S does not qualify for a next round, yeah. who would be your favorite? I would root for Brazil because they're, the, I mean, they're, the, they're the host country. Tom, it's been a pleasure. Good luck with the film and good luck with your other projects. Thank you.